the human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Mori. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get! Get! In! Ugh. My name... Starts with a D. ...is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me... Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, 
in this psychic dojo. They make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk! Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And... And, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kind of. But now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not going to let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. So, you might have noticed already that this is, in fact, not Minecraft. It is rather different. It is, as a matter of fact, a game called Psychonauts. It is a very interesting and bizarre game, but one which I see some very interesting potential in, so forth and so on, as you will see coming up shortly. Alright, settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Now, lights out! Didn't remember that, that wasn't what I was talking about. Not as such anyway. Anyway, welcome to the first of my DIS plays. More on that later. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. I can do that. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. Oh, that's that way, right? Hmm. <sighs> Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these Psy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a Psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. All right, so... Oh, I get another cutscene. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Okay, All right, so... This is a very bizarre and interesting game in its own sort of strange way. Um, but specifically, I am playing it as a DIS play. This is a concept I haven't introduced yet but one which I've been meaning to implement for some time. Basically, the general idea is that I'm going to attack this game. Um, I need to go offline with Steam. I will do that next time. I, I am going to attack this game and any other games I play as DIS plays um, from the perspective of a design influence spotlight. Um, so basically, 
this is a game which I see a lot of potential in for, you know, design and so forth, and it has some very interesting features that just look cool. And there's some areas in it, especially later on, that just are staggering visually. And so, I want to... Grab that. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just set that. So, I'm going to look at this primarily from a design standpoint. Uh, or at least, sort of. I'm going to play through normally, but whenever anything cool like that comes up, um, like I might want to build something like this here, the spiral staircase around a tree, that's kind of a cool idea, just to cite a basic example. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? Shh, I snuck out! That class is a death trap for crazy people! Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. Once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing up bloody tea. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. Oh, <laughs> Benny, what? put this kid back on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Good times. Ooh, my journal. I, I totally forgot that I even had a journal. I'm not thinking I'm actually gonna... Oh, that's just that's just what they call the escape menu. Okay. I thought it was like some kind of thing you could write in that I, of course, would never use. Okay, so let's dive into somebody's mind. Specifically, Coach Oleander's first. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son! Do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced? It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Um... Yeah, I forgot to move it. I don't think there's anything else I'm going to really, really do right now. This is basically it. I'm ready, sir. So let's well go. then. Huzzah. Kabling. Kabling. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. 20 what? What, what 20 do you want, sir? I, 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 I can't give you 20 until you tell me what 20 of what you want from me. That's so... This is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, this guy's please, sir. Really good I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said. There's only one <laughs> way out of here fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in the jaw. I warn you once you do, the war is on. You yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! Charge! <laughs> <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now! I see what you did there. That's funny! Haha! <laughs> Alright, so. Space. Oh, double jumping. Yeah. 
Alright, so basic navigation. Do do Hello. Relax! That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier! Come on, get that figment! Yay, a figment! Hooray! Hundred figment points and Be a figgy piggy! Who's coaches, little piggy? Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. <laughs> Do why look? Here it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and get me 20 right now! Back to work. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. Yes. I will climb the ladder. It is it is pretty fun to climb the ladders. I like it. I don't actually climb the ladders, but I can pretend for the sake of it. And I believe I can just get down this one. Onward and upward, soldier! Onward and upward. Up the pole. Bloop. Just a bit like that. A bit like that. Round about yep. like this. This area is quite interesting indeed, in as much as. Ah, yep. Um. It really pulls off, you know, a war torn landscape atmosphere, which, I mean, I doubt I'm going to be doing anything with. Minecraft. You're like molasses going uphill in January! Yeah, with so. crutches! <laughs> Watch out! Fire down below! Oh, that was stupid. Yeah. Blam! And slide! Whoop! Slide! Blam! Good! Hello, Bobby Zilch. We can't get past this! This is stupid! Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> Bobby Zeltz's foot, that's what? You're stupid. Stupid new kid! Yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh! I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. <laughs> Meaty nightmares like a Hey, Onward and upward, soldier! Oh, there is actually a ladder right over here. See, I always end up taking a more advanced route, which is over here, classified. And I don't know if there's actually any advantage on the other. But depth perception is difficult in this section. For me, anyway. It always trips me up. As for how far I've gotten in this game in general, I've only actually. You're like molasses going uphill in January! Yes, I know, Coach Orlando. Crutches. Please be quiet. I'm trying to talk to the people. So I've only ever actually gotten to a certain point in this game. Uh, I've gotten reasonably far, but never actually all the way through. Uh, but I'm gonna try and get all the way through for the sake of this BIS play. 
and so forth and so on, especially- No! That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm not in love with the controls move, of this game. Move, move. Yes, I'm mo I I'm friggin' moving! Commander? Aren't that aren't you named after a flower? I think he's named after a flower. Yep. I forgot I could do I walk right off the platform either. Ah, <sighs> so uh, the biggest problem with this game is really the camera angles, and that only becomes a problem later on, as move, I move, move. see. For now, it's pretty straightforward and workable. Uh, just let me get across here. Come on, come on. Okay. Worked. Whatever. I'm cool. Alright. And I head up through here. I'm not sure. Come on. Oh. oh my god. Where am I going? Where, am I? Where does it want me to go? Onward and upward, soldier! Oh, onward and upward. Of course it does. Do. Do ba do do do. And. I usually actually end up. I end up not bothering the makeup of the victims ordinarily, often just because. Yeah. I often end up not picking up the victims. Is your name Joey? No. Because I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. <laughs> what was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya, you. you're talking too slow. <laughs> it's, it's funny because Slowy rhymes with Joey. I completely forgot what I was At any rate. Oh, yeah, I, I often just end up forgetting about the figments, because if you're not going to 100% the thing, it's like they do so little that seems to be. Bang! My bowels what? move more than you do, Pokey! That, that's disgusting, Koji Lander. Alright, where did it? Okay, don't move. That went well. Very good. I won't avoid figments, but now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it, quick, like a monkey. Like a monkey. Like a monkey. I will be climbing this wall like a monkey. I can go like this. Hey, slow down, kid. If you pass me around, they can look bad. And Bobby will pound to death. Bobby, can you hear me? Where are you? Don't leave me alone out here, Bobby. I'm Watch right. those mines, kid. They'll blow you up like a ten cent kazoo. Alright. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. I remember this. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Good way to end up feeling like an absolutely terrible person. I can't do it! I can't do it! Yeah, you can. Nope, nope, he blows up. That's depressing. Very depressing. Okay. Oh, 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 it's Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Guilt. Huzzah! Um... Hey, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey! Again, that's yes. unnecessary information, Mr. Leander. The plane's going down, soldier! Hit that door and Geronimo! Hey! Told me to that I shoot, 